Hello and welcome. This is a short demo of our fitted mesh support in Avastar 1.6. This video is made with Blender 2.75, and I use the Avastar 1.6 alpha release from the 20th of June 2015. Update 40. Step 1. Create a new default Avastar character. Step 2, add the working model. Here, I use the append function to load my working model from a separate blend file, which in this case contains a simple dress. Step 3, inspect the model. This dress has already been skinned, and it contains a set of weight maps, which have been made for a subset of the well-known 26 classic Second Life Bones. Step 4, Bind the Mesh. So, let's proceed by first selecting the armature, and then shift select the dress. Now proceed by opening the tool shelf. Then open the Avastar tab, and navigate to the skinning panel. So, I already mentioned that our mesh contains weight groups. And when we bind the mesh to the armature, then we want to preserve these groups. In order to make this possible, we have added the Keep Weights option. When this option is selected, then all currently existing weight maps will be kept as they are, which is exactly what we want in this case. Please also ensure that the Attach Sliders option is enabled. This setting allows you later to test your mesh in Blender by using the Avastar appearance sliders. We get back to this in a minute. First let's bind the dress to the armature, simply by pressing the button, Bind to Armature. Now the dress is ready for posing and animating. But note, the weight maps still refer to the classic Second Life bones, and thus we still do not have a fitted mesh. So let's close the skinning panel and proceed to Step 5, prepare the rig for fitting. Take care that the dress is still selected. Then open the rigging panel. In the bone visibility section select the skin preset. Disable the limits indicators. And enable stick mode. Ensure that the deform bones button is selected and select the map filter from below the button. This displays only the weight of deformed bones. This setting keeps your view clean and organized. Now close the rigging panel and proceed to step 6, fitting the model. By the way we have taken care to keep all related buttons close to each other. Because of that you always can keep most panels closed and only have one or two panels open at any time. Ok, let's open the fitting panel. Here, you find two presets for fully classic mesh, and for fully fitted mesh. The fastest way to get your fitted mesh is to just select the fully fitted preset. This preset automatically propagates all existing weight maps to their corresponding fitted mesh counterparts. Now you see how all weight maps have changed their names. Hence in the 3D view you now see only fitted mesh bones. And in principle you are done with your fitted mesh project. However, there is a caveat. That is, your mesh weights most probably do not work nicely out of the box. Thus you must be prepared to add some work into tweaking the weight maps. Ok, now we are ready to proceed to step 7. The appearance sliders. Open the Avatar Appearance panel. And now let's take a look at how the appearance sliders actually influence the mesh. But note, this panel is sometimes not initialized. If this is the case for you, then you see a button labeled with, Load Appearance Sliders. Pressing this button loads the sliders and removes the load button. Ok, the sliders are organized into sections. 
and one of the sections is dedicated to fitted mesh. Let's open this section. And now test how the mesh reacts on the belly slider. We see that when we increase the belly slider, the dress deforms more and more into an ugly shape. This distortion is caused by the weights in your weight maps. In fact the weights on the collision volume bones are used to control the mesh shape. But we just have blindly moved the weights from the second life base bones to the collision volumes, and thus we get a somewhat arbitrary shape as a result. Now let's check the weighting of our model in more detail. Step 8, inspect the fitting panel. Keep the appearance panel open and move up to the fitting panel. Here, enable the option, apply immediately. This option takes care to synchronize all your changes in this section with the armature. Thus you can tweak the fitting interactively. But beware, this slows down Blender a lot. Hence use this feature only when necessary. Now select the pelvis slider, and move it a tiny bit to the left. You see that as soon as the slider value gets smaller than 1, the blue second life pelvis bone appears. Also the colors of the weight map change more and more towards blue, when we move the slider further to the left, and the influence on the mesh gets smaller and smaller. Finally we see the fitted mesh pelvis bone disappears as soon as the slider value is set to zero. Hence the pelvis is no longer fitted. Now let's also turn the belly slider to zero, until the belly bone fully disappears. Now our mesh is no longer influenced by the belly appearance slider. However, when we select the blue second life bones, we see the weights have been moved to them. So actually the fitting sliders just distribute the weights between the blue second life base bone, and its orange fitted mesh counterpart. And the more weight the fitted mesh bone gets, the more it influences the mesh shape. So all we need to do is finding the best matching distribution for the weights. So. Let's adjust the sliders inside view. Well, we see quickly that using the sliders alone does already help a bit, but we still get distortions for big belly sizes. And here Avastar provides three new features for you. The first and the most important feature is the Adjust to Shape tool. This tool actually helps us to optimize the weights to our likes. However this tool makes heavy usage of shape keys, and we will see shortly why this is beneficial. Here is the demo. Step 9, prepare a corrective shape key. Open the shape key function menu, and there, create a new corrective shape key. Give this shape key a reasonable name, belly for example. Then step into edit mode, and modify the mesh to your likes. Please note that corrective shape keys are a feature that we provide with the sparkles add-on. If you do not have sparkles, then you always can create a corrective shape key manually. But this is not the topic of this video, so let's proceed and go ahead with tweaking the mesh. When you are satisfied with the shape corrections, then finalize the corrective shape key, and step back to weight paint mode. Now do a quick check to see how the mesh distorts when you disable your new shape key. 
Now enable your shape key again to fully active. Then select the tool, adjust to shape. Finally disable the shape key and test again how the mesh behaves. You see the massive distortions are gone, and the shape looks much nicer now, although it is not yet fully corrected. Let's step down to the belly size slider and see how the mesh reacts when we decrease the slider value. Well, this is very promising. However the distortions on large belly slider values are still unpleasant. Now we can decide to propagate the shape key directly to the mesh. This is done with the second new feature. Step 10, Bake to Mesh. Ensure that the shape key is set to its full influence. Also take care that the belly appearance slider is at its maximum value. Then scroll to the bottom of the appearance slider panel, and call the function, Bake to Mesh. This function propagates the shape key into the mesh, and it deletes the shape key. The resulting mesh matches perfectly to a shape with the belly size set to its maximum. However, when we move the belly appearance slider to zero, we see that now the default shape is distorted. So, obviously we cannot create one mesh that fits all belly size sliders equally well. Hence we might want to create two variants of the mesh, one which fits small to medium belly sizes, and another one that fits medium to huge belly sizes. Now we could begin with creating variants of our mesh object, and store each of them separately. But this is tedious and makes a lot of extra work. So here is a nice little trick, that can make a huge difference and speed up your development significantly. Step 11, Automate the Shape Key. Avastar allows to attach shape keys directly to the appearance sliders. You can do this manually by adding Blender's key drivers. But we have added a shortcut. And here we go. Revert the Bake to Mesh tool by pressing the Ctrl Z button a few times until the shape key is back. Now here is a bit of magic. Select the upper Avastar body. In the shape key section search for the belly shape key. Cut the name of this shape key by using Ctrl C. Then select your mesh again. And paste the shape key name into our shape key by using Ctrl V. Now open the skinning panel. In the Appearance Control section select, Shape Keys. Finally step back to the Appearance Slider panel, and see what happens. Now the Belly Shape Key changes along with the Belly Appearance Slider. So you can create any Shape Slider configuration to your likes, and then export your mesh for this shape. The good news is, you can be sure that the character will match exactly for the exported shape. Thus you can create arbitrary standard sizes in a snap. In our case we might want to create one shape for small belly sizes, another shape for medium belly sizes, and one for huge belly sizes. We only need to configure the shape, then export the mesh. So this is an extremely easy way to get your standard sizes organized by using shape keys. Well, of course in reality things are a bit more complicated. In this demo we have optimized only for the belly slider. But we actually want to optimize for other sliders as well. So in practice you still have a lot of detail work to do and you need to test a lot. However the new Avastar tools are designed to achieve your goals without getting into weight painting disaster. Actually the new tools can do much more for you, so you may expect a few more videos, and an updated documentation as soon as the tools are fully tested and stable for release. But you already can see things are getting smart by now. Have a nice day, and hope to see you again soon.